My name is Helen Turek. And I'm Mara Danica. And this is Voices from the Void. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to dive right into the news. Um, the goons ain't doing nothing. Uh, Danny, did you see the news article about how the goons don't plan on helping out AAA? I saw the headline on my on my Android, but I never read the article. Because, I mean, uh, are you surprised? No. Uh, goons... Okay, then. Yeah, it was one of those, we did this, and it's awesome, and we did that, and it's awesome, and this is also awesome. Um, AAA did some stuff that's not awesome, so we're not going to help them, because we're awesome. Yeah. I can identify with that mindset. Oh my god. (laughs) Of course you can. It's not surprising. But yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. Um... You know, they, they're they selective about who they partner up with. They apparently have a right to be so and can. So, I mean, why not? Those are the breaks. Those are, you know, the politics of NullSec. I'm, I'm not surprised about it. It's what they do. I mean, Test hasn't even... I mean, look at Test. They, they haven't... Budged. Done anything. They haven't while. even said we're not going to help you. They, they haven't done <laughs> anything at all for a while. I mean, they show yeah. up every once in a while to a couple of CTAs, but they've been sitting on their hands for at least what three months. I've been killing them in Uli. Mm. But the thing is, is this is the problem, and this was the mistake I think AAA made. They made the goons think that they needed, or, or they, I'm sorry, they made the goons think that AAA thought that they needed tr- the goons. And as soon as the goons realized that AAA thought they needed them, well, they were going to obviously say no. That's how they operate. That sounds so overly complicated. You got to realize the way these people think, you know? You're goons, right? You think you're better than everybody else. You want to stick it to anybody. You're a bunch of trolls. And oh, you find out. That, are tapping the hate mail. And, Continue. And, and you find that there's a, a group of people out there that need your help. As a any good troll would do, you take this opportunity to shove it in their face. That was the mistake AAA made. They don't need the goons' help. It would be good, but they don't need their help. And Are they, you sure about that? I'm positive about that. The thing is, AAA is going to live... I think AAA will live outlive this game. They are... Um, pretty strong and again i i could be wrong about that this is just my opinion but triple a uh got completely removed from null sec once before and they came back they'll do it again they'll wait until uh, the drone russians even if and this is assuming that the drone russians managed to win the only thing they've taken really so far is head gp and a bunch of providence news flash providence head isn't GP. Providence isn't owned by anybody AAA really cares about. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Well, <laughs> yeah, CBA is there, and CBA is just like, eh, screw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, CBA is... They're like a little old man. They're CBA like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. Yeah, CBA, CBA has a non-invasion pact with AAA at this point. That's as far as it goes. They're not friends. They're not going to come down and it. help. And let's face it, Hedgy P, death trap. Death trap. Thanks. Enjoy your death trap. <laughs> there you go. You deal with that now. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your death trap, guys. But, you know, and that does segue really nicely, I think, into what's going on in Providence. Raiden Dot has declared that they're going to take all of Providence away from CVA or some bullshit. And, and Why I, are people keep picking on poor CVA? You know you can't. You know C- CVA can't defend themselves. I just look at CVA and, and CVA is like, all right, fine, take it. <laughs> and they're like, what? You're not going to fight us? We've got all these super carriers here, and you've got that fleet of drakes. Come on! <laughs> what are they supposed to do? Whelp them into them? <laughs> exactly. They might, as well just, they might as well just fly their drake fleet over to the super caps, get out of the ships, into their pods, and then leave. Because that's the same effect. Yeah. Four more! <laughs> They're just going to fly right into them. That's, that's that's the that's the ploy. We're gonna just run into him. Let's fit him with smart bombs, guys. <laughs> Ramming speed. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, so CBA is doing the joke. CBA is doing the smart thing and just kind of going, man, eh, we'll harass him a little bit, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna fight him tooth and nail for space that's worth nothing in the first place. If CB, if uh, Raiden Dot wants to take it over, go right ahead. Eventually, they'll have. They're not gonna use it themselves. They're gonna install pets, and the pets will be a lot easier to kick out. Simple. Exactly. That's the plan. Yeah. Okay, same but I'm bored with CBA. Yeah, same oh, thing goes. You have more to say? Same thing goes with the uh, same thing goes with the uh, AAA space if that's what it comes down to. Even if the drone Russians take over all of CBA or um, all of AAA space, what they'll end up doing is installing pets who will be much easier to kick out, and that'll be the end of it. So, it's like it's like I've said before: enjoy your victories while you can. There's a good chance that uh, the drone Russians might take over all of Nullsec, despite what the goons might think. <laughs> it's a good chance that it actually that actually might happen, but it won't last. Uh, the The issue I keep bringing up to people is that it will it can still happen, and everyone will lose their space. You know that doesn't change that part. Yeah, well, and and I see a lot of that talk on the forums, you know, the Russians will implode, the Russians will disband, the Russians are going to turn on each other. And yes, that will happen eventually, but in the here and now, they're uh, kicking ass and taking names. You should pay attention. Yeah, and it could be, it could be tomorrow. What's that? I said just saying. Ah, it could be tomorrow that they dissolve and fall into infighting. It's unlikely. As long as they still have forces to fight, they'll still be united in their wars. And that's what's going to keep on happening. Until they actually beat everybody, they've got no reason to stop, you know, working together. And let me tell you something. People are looking at the winter expansion as the final breaking point for the drone Russians. What are they going to do without their super caps? If they could manage to kick everybody else out of Nullsec first... And they nerfed the super caps. Now they really have to work together to beat everybody else. It's going to bring them closer together, not further apart. It might weaken them, but it's going to make the unity that they have stronger. This is either very clear thought or your tinfoil hat is very thick. Mm. So we'll have to see how that. It's plays full out. opinion, unfortunately. I can only I, I can only draw a logical conclusion about the situation and not try my best not to let emotions get in the way of you know like what i think should happen it, that doesn't yeah. matter I, I look at the situation from what m logically follows what's happening now and logically that's what seems to make the most sense to me and you'll have and it does make sense it yeah. really does yeah there's going to be an emotional response that people are going to have oh the drone russians can't possibly hold together because x x and x or we'll never fall. We've never fell. We've never fallen. We've never fallen before. So there's no way we'll lose our space. Yeah. Those aren't valid arguments. <laughs> look at the. No, they aren't. Look at the, the. The tsunami is coming, but I've got a house, so I think I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I hear things are getting hot and heavy in the north, even with the goons sitting on their asses. Uh, tribute yeah. is getting some attention. What's going on there? Red Overlord went up to Tribute and came a calling and came a knocking and kicked some kicked some ass. I'm to understand until they actually got whelped on the way home <laughs> by uh, the initiative of all people. What? What is? <laughs> Nobody wants to work together. What is wrong with these people? The initiative and the drone Russians hate each other. So here's Red Overlord going up to the north to help out AAA in the south by trying to basically just make them have to bring their super caps back and forth and back and forth. And and, and on their way back, they got they got ambushed by the initiative who hate. The See, and this is what I don't get. Sun Tzu's art of war. You know, they they study that in all kinds of war colleges and stuff like that. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Why is no one employing this? Well, I, I still, I still, I still stick to the caveat that my enemy's enemy is my enemy's enemy, no more, no less. However, that doesn't uh -huh. mean you can't make use of them. That doesn't mean you constantly. Well, that's well, that's the meaning behind it. Yeah, you know, yeah. you 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 can band together temporarily right. to rid yourself of a common threat 
Yeah. It, 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 the best way to explain that is that to say that he's your friend is an oversimplification, which yeah, it, it bothers it me. But it's it's made for you know to be easier to understand. It's a potential ally, and you need to exploit that because your enemy is stronger than you. That's just how it works. <laughs> when your enemy is stronger than you, you put together a force that can beat them. It's what the drone Russians did to the NC. <laughs> The drone Russians couldn't beat the NC. They didn't have enough numbers. They didn't have enough forces. So they put together a coalition of people who didn't want, like the NC, like Raiden, like Pandemic Legion, who ended up getting paid, but they didn't like NC anyhow. And people like NC Dot, who wanted to get more valuable space. Pe you know, enemy, basically people who wanted and had a vested interest in seeing the Northern Coalition fall. And they got them all together under one banner, and they steamrolled them. And that's what you have to do. You have to put together a coalition, a bigger coalition. That's how this game works. It rewards people for blobbing more. And if you don't like that, that's tough. But it's how the game is played in Zero Zero. Indeed. So is there any more Nullsec news? Nah, not really. Okay. Well, then let's talk about some CCP news 